In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import PDF files you can actually work with in SketchUp. My name is Katerina Magandzani and that's your name. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, it's a nice little trick if you want to import vectorized PDFs, that means PDFs done from actual CAD files, okay, uh, that you've got and you want to import them in SketchUp with the actual lines you can work with, okay. So this is a nice little trick. If you trying to figure out a solution for this, there is paid extensions in the extension warehouse that you can actually uh, purchase and work with inside SketchUp. But this is just something, you know, a little bit outside the extension warehouse and just free. OK, you don't have to pay this. Really important, the PDF needs to be a vectored PDF. OK, so if it's a PDF done from an original image, this is not going to work. So the software I'm using is a free software and it's called Inkscape is the 1.2 version i believe i haven't actually updated lately but i think it's still this one and this is the the dashboard and uh, what you want it's uh, a pdf something like this is a topography uh, study of a specific uh, plot i've got from a client and your pdf might look something like this so this is actually from exported from an actual cat file okay that's really important you go into inkscape you go into browse uh, um, uh, a document, okay? If you want to go and search for the document uh, in your in your uh, download, whatever you want, have the document um, on, okay? Let me go. I'll do this. Okay, this is my topography study, and this is what appears to you. I just leave it as default, okay? There is a lot of things going on in this software, but I just, I'm using this like I use Blender, just really basic stuff. And you just need to wait until it loads the document. So this is what it looks like once it opens. So I'm sure you can do a lot of things here, but all I want is this. I don't even, you know, I don't, I don't check any of this out. All I want is this. You come here to file, you save as, Okay, and one of the options, it's what you want, DXF file. So it depends, you know, um, normally the 12 edition or the 14 of AutoCAD, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go into this one and save it. Okay, just save it as it is. And now I'm going to go into SketchUp. So you wait a little bit until that's done in Inkscape. Uh, you go to File. You go to import and you go in search for your uh, for your file. And this is my file. I go into options. I leave it model units. Normally as default, it comes like this. Just leave model units for now. And this is the tricky part. It not all not always imports exactly to scale. Uh, I'm going to show you if it does or not now, uh, but it's pretty easy to just modify the scale to make sure it's 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 to, to the, the right measurements. The most important part is that it has, it has actual lines that you can work with. So no more importing PDF as an image and, you know, tracing uh, from the top. Now it comes using Inkscape, you can actually have lines you can work with inside SketchUp. Okay, and here is straight away, I see it's not scale. Look at my woman figure there. But it's pretty easy to, to, to scale it out. As you can see, is as a group, and you have actually here the scale. Okay, so I'm just going to trace the line. Sorry. One to five, and here it's... 0.4 so it's pretty easy just to scale it up so i'm gonna scale it five times let me see what gives me now three meters maybe scale it okay 5.08 i think that's the best i'm gonna get uh, but anyway, you will modify it, but now you have working lines you can work with inside SketchUp, which is pretty cool. You just need to explode this 
or double click if you don't want to explode straight away start cleaning up like you do in every cat file you need a lot of cleaning up uh, but now you have here working lines you can work with and that's pretty cool the only difference from a normal cat file uh, it doesn't come with all the tags that they are useful to hide and show things sometimes uh, but you know anyway I think it's much better than just having a JPEG and uh, tracing things up you need a little bit of cleaning you know but you have working lines you can use so a nice little trick and it's a free one okay see you guys in the next one